Hey everybody, Troy here from Troy's Hobbies. Really quick video, really quick unboxing. My Amazon order from uh, Freesub. This is aftermarket printer ink, so I'm giving it a try. I usually buy the uh, brand name Epson. Well, here it is, the package, basic package, Freesub. So I'm saving considerable amount of, uh, of money if this works out. I've never tried this brand before. I, like I say, I usually buy the Epson brand. So this is what you get. Look at that. So you get three of the yellow. You get three. It looks like pink, but it's magenta. And this is a 252 extra large, by the way. This is the this is not the standard, but this is the extra large. More ink. You get all that. Here's the cayenne. This is a 252XL. This is what the uh, model, my brand, uh, my my model and brand takes. Let's see now. This is the black. You get one. This is the extra large size. Two, three, four, five, six. So you get all this. For the price link will be down below i'm hoping i'm going to give it a try and see uh how well the uh the quality is but that's what you get all right folks we're done i was going to do a, a fifth uh dot check but i'm going to go ahead and do another uh copy the same copy of this one is in there already i just left it in there so we're going to go ahead and copy press print see how it turns out we're going to take it all outside where it's better lighting so you can see it, see it in the light, natural light. See, uh, you can make up the difference. Top one here's the first one we did when I first opened up the package, inserted it, did the first te print test, and this is the after a couple of head cleanings. So let's see the difference here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Look at all those dots missing, and the black, basically all of them. And then after I did a head cleaning, that second one, third one. See the yellow on that one again, and then on that one, and then the last one. I'm still missing some dots, as you can see, but I probably can get it a little better. But uh, I don't know. Let's see. I don't need it for professional pictures, just for printing out forms like this. So the other, uh, the test print I had here was, here it is. Okay, the first one. It's not supposed to have these lines, the original print. This one has the vertical lines. You can see up here, this is supposed to be all blue. You can see these vertical lines. Now after that four cleanings I went through, this is what it looks like now. So the top header here looks better. You can barely see the, uh, the, uh, the vertical lines, but you can still see it down here. Look at that, some of that magenta. Is coming through. I've already done the printer alignment, cleaning the heads four times, doing the dots four times. This is just some examples. Hopefully, this is in focus. This is from the Game Seer website. Just trying to get you some color examples here, what it looks like. I can see a line going across where it says the Geek Church. See that? Hopefully it's in focus. So on the larger print, like that controller, you can definitely see. Here's the bigger one. See that? Definitely see the uh, horizontal lines in it. So that's it, folks. Oh, look at that. L look at the lines going across. I don't know what else to do. If you have an Epson printer and I'm doing something wrong, I've never had an, ep an issue with the Epson brand but this is the uh, the one I just got from Amazon so real life they didn't send me this stuff I bought it my own money gave it a try free sub ink and this is my real world experience see you can see the lines going across well that's it folks four test copies I did the printer head nozzle 
dot test four times as you can see and so and that's what I got so you make up your mind whether you like this ink or not you guys have a good day make sure you subscribe bye bye